Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is Nina Budgets and I'm your girl Nina. On today's video, we're going to be resetting my wallet. Um, I'm not really sure for the sake of this video if we're going to go ahead and stuff my sinking funds, but at this time, my wallet needs to be reset and I want to go ahead and get that done so that I can be ready for the week. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into it. Let's get the money counted and then let's get it going. So we have 51, 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, and then $10. So we're going to be putting $300 in my wallet today. Um, this weekend, and this just this week in general, has just been so busy. I'm so behind. I need to go ahead and get my um, videos posted. Um, I need to get videos filmed. I'm just behind in general. Um, and it's just because life has just been busy. Kids keep me busy, work. Um, and this week is not going to be any different because I have interviews that I have to do for um, some of our seasonal um, work that we have coming up for this year. So it's going to be super busy. So hopefully um, I can get these videos filmed and get everything going for you all. Um, so please just be patient with me. I'm definitely trying to get everything together. Um, and get everything out. So again, let's just reset my wallet. I'm going to make sure I don't have anything showing. Okay. So I definitely have some receipts that I'm going to have to scan in to fetch. Um, and with that, I'll get those scanned in off camera. Um, if you don't know, Fetch is a rewards app that helps you um, earn points for gift cards that you can redeem. So any of your regular purchases that you have every day, you can use those purchases to turn into gift cards for you um, to use in the future. So yeah, definitely um, a good one to have. So look at my wallet, you all. I've been spending the money. I mean, we ain't had no choice, you know, groceries and all that stuff. But this summer heat, I will say, is definitely messing with my envelopes. Um, I am going to create some more envelopes and then I also need to just kind of reheat these um, in the laminator. But Let's just go ahead and hop into it. Let's see what we have left over. Um, so in groceries, we have 51, 120, 130, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I am going to definitely be rolling over um, this 130. And let's see. I think I'm going to keep these two fives as well. Um, and then I'll just put these ones in the one in five dollar savings box um, for sure. So groceries is getting 200 this week and I did that in 250s and then 520s. So we have 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 30, 5, 40. So I'm definitely going to just keep the new 200 in here and the rest I'm going to put in my binder. So let me sit that out. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do. Yeah, let me go ahead and put that in my binder um, because this i want to create um i have buff i have a buffer but i also want to keep a separate like grocery buffer in here um so i want to do that continue to do that um so let's see again we should have 200 so 51 20 40 60 82 so this is 200 for the week and then gas is getting 80 dollars. we have one 40 left over, so it's getting 50, 70, and 80. So in gas, we have a total of 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220. Um, and I've just been kind of holding on and building up this gas because eventually my truck is going to be ready and I want to have, you know, gas for that. Um, since I'm using my mother in law's car. And putting gas in her car i also want to still have some gas some money built up for when i get my vehicle back um, they did end up having to rebuild my transmission um, so that is what has been taking them so long so hopefully it will be done 
soon. So up next is going to be my personal spending. And this doesn't count. Um, it counts, but it doesn't count as far as like what I budgeted. This was um, money that my mom gave me for ordering pizza a couple weeks ago. Um, so in my personal spending, I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 left. And I started out with, I believe, $60. Um, basketball just really takes over um, with those entries on getting in. It's like $25 for the weekend, sometimes $50, just depends. So, um, so yeah, so for this week, I'm getting $20, and that leaves me with $35. And again, I do have this in my spending envelope, but I'm not including it as part of my budgeted amount. It's just some extra spending money. Um, that I'm just trying to hold on to. So, yeah. And then CJ spending is, isn't getting anything. And this giving is extra ones that we had. This is actually ones left over from like a week or two ago that I have not put, I want to say a week ago, that I have not put in my one and $5 savings box. Um, and it should be 15 So let's see. Yeah, it's 15 um, I haven't put it in there yet, and I definitely will. So to that 15, we're going to be adding. We're going to be adding eight. So, so that should be 23. Yep, 23 dollars going back into the one and five dollar savings box. So. I will get that put in um, when I do my savings challenge, but that is going to be all for my wallet. I just needed to hop on real quick and get my wallet reset. Um, I need to move this envelope because I went and got my hair done and depleted this. So I think I had like a hundred and I want to say like $45 um, and I have $15 left. So I went and got my hair rebraided um plus the tip so uh yeah we gotta get this built back up i'm just gonna put this back in here and hopefully well i'm not gonna say hopefully these braids that i have in um they're a little bit i wanted them a little bit larger this time so i didn't have as many braids um, so I did do that and I'm planning on probably wearing these for at least four weeks, maybe six. We will see. Um, just enough time. It'll be enough time to get my necessities built back up to where, um, you know, I'll take my hair back down and start wearing my natural hair back out. I like to really like keep it braided in the summer. Um, and then in like the fall time, um, you know, wear it out and stuff. So we'll see. Yeah. So I can't believe it's already like, we're going into the second week of July, two and a half weeks. Um, school will be back started before you know it. And I got to really get these sinking funds built up so that we can get some school shopping done um, and just get get it going. But yeah, that's going to be all. I got my wallet reset. I'm super happy about that. Um, and I'm really loving this wallet. Um, I'm telling you all, if, if you don't have one of these, you need to get one. Um, I ordered this from Comfort Coins. And I really love the texture. Um, it's not one that you have to like clean all the time. Um, it doesn't trap a lot of like, you know, dirt or whatever from the air, whatever. Um, so I'm really loving it. So great, great, great product. I definitely recommend. And the black as always looks. So um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. And I just wanted to hop in and get this, uh, my wallet reset. And I appreciate you all for sticking along with me. Also, we have reached the 300 subscriber mark. We are definitely, we've gotten over that since I posted about um, hitting 300. I'm just, I'm so like grateful. I can't even believe that um, 300 people are even subscribing to me. Um, I really like doing these videos because it helps me stay accountable. Um, and I just appreciate this community um, and I appreciate everyone for coming along this journey with me. So welcome to my new folks and what's up to my OGs. Thank y'all for watching and thank everyone for continuing to watch. And if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, you need to just, you need to come on over here. We, we loving it over here. 
we on this journey and we really just pushing towards that debt free journey. So um, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.